Biscuit in 1996 and it started as a tiny little store and eight and a half years ago I opened my other shop, The Independent Mercantile. I've lived in the North End for 25 years and I love this neighborhood and feel very invested in the community here. Part of what I love about it is its diversity and its history and the people. I want to be really clear that the housing crisis and the economic crisis are not specific to the North End. As soon as I came out publicly and said that we were having issues here in our business, I heard from people who own businesses in downtown Dartmouth and on Spring Garden Road and on Quimple Road who said that they were having the same kinds of issues. Like we've had two hold up attempts at our shop here and we've had the windows of our other home store smashed twice in the last few months. Both situations were there were people who were struggling with addiction and mental health situations. We reached out to the public and went on social media to say that we felt this was an indication that people in our city were really struggling. And for the small part that we could contribute, we wanted to donate 10% of our sales that week to the Parker Street Food and Furniture Bank, which operates here in our neighborhood. All of us need to talk to our leadership about the desperate state that people find themselves in. There's been a 40% increase in unhoused people. So this is definitely something that we're seeing a rise in the last year. From what I hear, that's because those are people who don't feel safe using the shelters that are available. It's a real wake up call to the fact that something's changed in our city. It signaled to me that people need help. And so I would just suggest to people like, to think of things that are really hands-on, to look at things that are operating in your own community, and even volunteering, you know, if you can't necessarily donate. I'm no expert, but we're just trying to maybe like shed a little light on, on what we see as like a growing um, growing problem and, and, uh, and draw attention to it.